In this video, I'm going to show you the top tips of Filmora in 2020. Keep watching. Hey everyone, it's Elliot from Wondershare Filmora here to empower your inner video creator. This has been a year where we had to get a little bit creative at Filmora, but now 2020 is almost over. Today we are going to be counting down the top 5 tips of 2020. These are the tips that you said are most helpful with creative editing. Which tip do you think is going to be number one? Before we start, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our new videos. If you'd like more details for each tip, click on the link in the top right corner here or in the description to watch the full video. Alright, now we're ready. Let's go! For the number 5 tip of 2020, our teams shared some personal advices for how to be more confident on camera. Here is one from me. Something that really helped me become more confident on camera is by watching my videos. The more you see yourself on screen, the more normal it becomes. Suddenly, being in front of a camera isn't such a big deal. For more tips from me, JJ, and Johnny on how to feel more comfortable on camera, click on this link right here. Filming this effect is relatively simple. Make sure your camera is steady and your shot has a clean background. A bright background and a darker object will usually have the best result. Now let's bring the video into Filmora. Drag and drop the footage onto the timeline and then play the clip to find some good frames you'd like to freeze. Take a snapshot of the first frame you'd like to freeze, then drag and drop the snapshot onto the video track above where you took it. Then extend the snapshot length to match the original footage. Now hide the track so you can find more snapshot in the same video clip. We can hide tracks by clicking the eye icon on the left. Repeat the same steps until all snapshots are in position. For the last step, unhide all the snapshots and change the blending mode of all of them to darken. This can be changed in the compositing section within the video settings panel. Ta-da! Now we can loop this cool freeze framing video on screen. Tip number 3 of 2020 is split screen music video. This new video trend lets you create a one person band and provides a way to collaborate without being in the same room. First we need to film each instrumental playing the same song separately. Make sure to use a metronome to match the beats of each video. Align the clips separately on four video tracks and try to sync the videos according to the waveforms. Once they are all lined up, play back to double check the sync. Adjust the audio level of each clip accordingly and trim the clips to the same length and time. Then export the clips individually. Once the export is done, we can import the synced video. Let's select this split screen preset here and drag the synced videos into place. Adjust the framing and audio as needed. And there you go, mission completed. The zoom through text effect is the second most popular tip of 2020. And rightly so, it's used widely in many types of videos. Let's check it out. Start by dragging a black sample color clip onto a lower video track. Then create a title with the ideal font and size and place it on the upper video track. When that is settled, take a snapshot of the title and then delete the sample color and title we've used for the snapshot. Drag and drop the title snapshot onto a secondary video track. Right click and go to the pan and zoom window. Set the final frame to cover only a part of the white text in the same resolution as the footage. Then drag and drop the videos that we want to see onto the bottom video track. Finally, set the blending mode of the title snapshot to multiply, and we can now play back to see the zoom through text effect. Well,
Motion tracking has been the most anticipated and requested feature, and it's finally available in Filmora 10. That is why it's the number one tip of 2020. Motion tracking helps track the movement of objects in a video and attach text, images, and other objects to that movement. Here we go, a simple way to apply motion tracking. To apply motion tracking to videos in Filmora 10, drag and drop the target video to the timeline. Cut out the part we don't need and make sure the subject's in frame. In this example, it's the girl. Move the playhead to where we want to start the tracking. Select the clip and click on the icon here, right above the timeline to open motion tracking options. Place the tracking box on the subject and resize it. Then click on the Start Tracking button on the left panel. Drag the text to the upper video track and extend it to the length of the motion tracking if needed. Go back to the motion tracking menu and choose the clip that follows the motion in the drop down menu. And here we go, a simple way to apply motion tracking. These are the top 5 Filmora tips in 2020. Did we miss a video that really made an impact on you this year? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and keep creating.